So we are experimenting with the, uh, the Vandal uh, physicality, and part of that is zero gravity. We're using this, this rig, which has got a bungee on it, because I can kind of move um, from stations within the spaceship with a kind of grace of a, of a cat, but with, with a sort of, not, not completely zero gravity, but with a sense of being able to move and make big leaps and bounds with it kind of effortlessly, really. So the team we had were the, the guys that did the rigging for Gravity, uh, which obviously they did a really nice job on the Zero-G. And so we were using it to sort of do a low-G environment, which we were thinking that the Vandal Kingship has, and to allow the, the Thull to move around pretty quickly and do sort of bigger, more live jumps. So it was fun. I was enjoying it. He's so great with performance capture. I mean, you know, he's pretty much the guy that wrote the book on it. Uh, it's his company we were working with, which is great. It's been great, actually. I've really enjoyed it. The team, they're, they're fantastic. Can't quite feel my inner thighs anymore, but hey, all in the pursuit of art and happiness. So we have Andy Circus playing Thull, who ultimately will be the uh, the sort of main antagonist. And then we have Patrice. He's playing the Okurai, who is the leader of the clan. Good exercise, good creative freedom. A bit like being in a theatre workshop. Lots of fun. Patrice is, uh, is trying to find a kind of centre for his character and uh, I'm going to do the same. We're going to be hooked up to the system so we'll be actually able to see the avatars for the first time just right now coming up. Right now you can actually see Earth, my character drinking a cup of tea. Because all good Vanduuls need a couple of PG tips at the end of the day. The scene that we're doing is them on the bridge, starting the battle against the uh, UEE fleet. It's a piece of plastic piping covered with markers and green tape, which represents a very uh, symbolic ceremonial sword of the Vandul. This is the heart of your ship. So it's like, it's sort of like in, chunk, so it can be. And, zzz, and everything's going to start powering up. It will look slightly more glamorous, dangerous and powerful uh, than it does at the moment. Kurai shaliure, zanath akathon minna. Uh, both Andy and Patrice weren't speaking English, obviously, they were speaking Vandal, uh, which uh, is a made-up language, but a proper language that was cre created by Britton Watkins, who's a, a sort of specialist in creating languages and actually does it for um, film. So uh, he's most recently been doing the last couple of Star Treks. <laughs> Kong Lang, apparently, that's what it's called. Constructed language. We had good direction. Um, and of course, you had the great Andy Serkis. Yeah, the language is is, uh, is very guttural. It's kind of oh, lots of uh, sounds, and you know, uh, there's a lot of that going on. Yeah, it's quite it's quite rich, and, and it's very fun to do. We'll be able to publish the actual language, and people will be able to learn how to speak it, and it has a combination of spoken words, some signs for emphasis, and then also the Vandal of Bioluminescence, so they'll have sort of tone changes based on mood and stuff like that. So it'll be very cool. Yes, it is a wrap on Andy. It's a wrap Thank, on you. Andy Thank you, Andy. Thank you. It's nice to, to have got to this point, actually. <laughs>